go to the airport for airport standby. Good morning. At my old airline, I was like never on airport standby. Maybe like twice in nine months. Not a complaint, just an observation. This mode of doing coffee. This is what we have, which I kind of like. It kind of makes it like a ritual. Fill up the water bottle. Okay, I think we're ready. I feel like I overpacked a bit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Kitty's guarding the door. Does it want me to leave? No. Gotta go to work. No. So this can really turn into a chaotic day. back to the car. We did not get called. I'm pretty neutral about it. I don't really have any plans. I guess I just always anticipate working for sure so I don't really make plans. My iMovie has not been working very well. Um, delete iMovie. I think it would delete the whole video itself that I never got to save so I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. Yeah, today it's about 1.30. It's very, very rainy. I kind of just want to go home. Decisions, decisions. There's a Chick-fil-A that's actually kind of close to the airport. I think that's what we'll do. Real life of a flight attendant, not getting called, and then figuring out what to do with the rest of your day because you thought you were for sure gonna work. <laughs> Okay, so we got our Chick-fil-A for lunch. It was 10 out of 10. I had just spent like the last four, five hours re-editing my Vancouver vlog, which is uploading right now. I was, I'm not gonna get into it. You guys probably don't care, but maybe you do. So I'm on call tomorrow and the next day. I hope it's not jinx, but I just hope it's not like a red eye or a lean over, who knows. I may take back my statement about early reports. Not yet, but possibly, because I've had a very good bedtime routine since Vancouver. <laughs> that actually really helped me. I've been going to sleep every day by like 11, 11.30. If I go to sleep past 12, it's just not it's just not productive for me. I'm sure you guys can relate. If I wake up past 10.30, past 10 i feel like so much of my day is wasted to stick to just the sleep schedule i think it'll make me more productive and happy so i'm gonna wind down here pretty soon finish what i need to do and catch up with you guys tomorrow it's the next day did my morning stuff this morning went to the gym it's about 1 20 <sighs> and it's really raining i've really been trying to go out more just to you know, go out, make some friends, maybe. I've noticed, even in myself, that a lot of people I like to stay home in Seattle just because the weather can be so crappy sometimes and it's just kind of more cozy to stay home. Anyways, once again, I am on call. Not sure where I am on the list to get called. Maybe I should probably look at that. But yeah, my plan is just to maybe chill at a coffee shop for a bit. I wanted to go grocery shopping and make a new meal. I'm thinking I've made this really good sweet potato black bean chili. I've made it a few times in the past, especially during, you know, fall and winter. So I think I'm gonna make that. I was just looking at the recipe and I don't have a Dutch pan. Really, I am trying to eat healthy. I eat just a lot of frozen foods, especially from Trader Joe's, which can be fine. But it doesn't feel like it's the best for me. Definitely a goal this year to eat more fresh foods and 
I guess go to the grocery store more. And I think this is what adulting is. Just remembered that I have this um, ready to be developed in my car the last few weeks. And I just love the way the quality and the picture looks and everything. I'm at Walgreens now. And then if I can get it on a USB or a CD or whatever. No luck at Walgreens, but um, the lady, she was super nice. She redirected me to actual uh, photo store. So I'm going to drop it off now. I already called and they said they would take it. Price though, maybe this is normal but uh, they said it would take like seven to ten days. No more one hour photo life anymore. Who remembers those days? They were able to help me out which is great, super nice. Um, now I'm headed to the grocery store. I don't see the cherry suckers. Those are like the best part of Valentine's Day. Got my ingredients for my chili recipe. No luck for the Dutch pan. I have to go to Marshalls or TJ Maxx, oh no. But I have cold foods, so um, I won't stay long. I really like this black one. They are pricey though, or I'm cheap. All right, we got a pan. I feel like an abundant girly. I have a British Columbia license. And where were we just at? Okay, we're back from grocery shopping. We got our, technically this is a casserole pan, but it works. I do not have a potato peeler, so I think I'm just gonna leave the skin on for these, but I gotta dice these up. Let's get cooking, I am hungry. So we diced our sweet potato, that took me forever. Don't judge my dicing skills. This is what we're using. This is... <laughs> This is all I have. This is how much I cook. Also lived here six months and this is how much I cook. This is how well I cook. So not saying it's gonna be bad, but I'm just saying. Now I gotta chop this yellow onion up as well as the green pepper. And then we can add, and then we can add some heat. You hear that? I am so excited for this. Adding the cayenne pepper now. I added the cumin, the chili powder. This has a teaspoon, so I'm just gonna eye it. We're gonna say that's a teaspoon. All right, now we're gonna add the black beans, the tomatoes, and the vegetable, vegetable broth. It's the diced tomatoes with chilies. It's the whole can, ungrained. These are the ones I use. Very good. It smells so good. I am so excited to eat a home-cooked meal. It's a lot of work. The dishes, the cleanup, I just... It's a lot for me, but it's definitely worth it. But it needs to be drained and rinsed. Like boiling right now. And what else? A vegetable broth. Two to three cups, it says. This is a big pot of chili. Look at that color. I'll use. I don't have measuring cups either. We'll just do this. This looks like about one. One. Two. It did say three. It said two to three. says to bring it to a boil and then once it's to a boil to simmer for about 30 minutes which is really sad because I am starving. Suppose if I want to be productive now's a good time to do clean up instead of laying on my couch scrolling tiktok or something. <sighs> so I'm gonna be a productive person and just clean up a little bit real quick. It's just about done. Just love the colors. I added a little more um, spices just to brighten it up a bit. Where did 
we learn. I think I put just a bit too much vegetable broth. I needed more seasonings than the recipe called for. So if you try this out, let me know. I really recommend it. It is so good. It's vegetarian. It's pretty healthy and it's kind of, it's pretty easy to make. It's just a little bit time consuming with the chopping and dicing and everything, but I really recommend it, especially for these cold winter months. Give it a try. Let me know. Please let me know if you do try it. I'll say just maybe two, you only need maybe two cups, maybe even less of the vegetable broth and I would definitely add more of, you know, like the spices, like the chili powder and all of that. But yeah, would I rate myself? Obviously a 10, but if I'm being honest, I just, the vegetable broth, maybe it'll soak in overnight in the next few days. So when I eat it for leftovers, it'll be better. But I think it's maybe like a solid eight out of 10. I'd give it an eight out of 10 tonight. Give it a try. Day. A little walk. Um, well, actually, it kind of turned into a long walk because I was trying to motivate myself to go to the gym. It's only 43 degrees, but the sun is out. It's not raining, and I decided to take advantage of that. So we're gonna do the stir fry vegetables with chicken now. I'm about to add the vegetables over there. We're just boiling that extra chicken. Maybe make it a meal later today. It's almost about nine o'clock. Obviously, we didn't get called. A few days were pretty laid back. I feel like they were productive too. This was a little bit unusual. I feel like I more often get called than not. It's today. Today's Saturday, so tomorrow, Sunday. Um, I have a few days. No, I don't. I have I have a turn tomorrow. A few days off. Then I do a three day next weekend, and then. I go to another country, be definitely vlogging um, for my birthday. First time I'm actually gonna non-rev for fun and I'm doing these eye masks, um, the caffeine ones from Sephora. So it's, but yeah, the country I'm going to, now it looks kind of crazy. Somewhere I've never been before. It's been on my bucket list probably since I was a child. I will definitely take you guys with me and thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!